Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! Let's head on through the level forest. What do they call a level forest anyway? Is it like physically level, or you level up here, whatever? I don't know. Oh, well, I thought you were an environmentalist, but I guess these are bad trees as opposed to the good trees. I could get more of those cure potions up there, but my general philosophy is to only open up each of those brown chests once per game, you know? Just to, you know... Well, whatever. But anyway, let's uh get started here. Yeah, rock and battle music and everything like that. I like it. Oh, and I left uh, Kaylee on autopilot there. Um, your guest characters will automatically start in well, autopilot. They'll attack or cast spells automatically. Press the Y button, you can change that. So now you can directly control them. And that's generally what I want to do. Sometimes you may want autopilot because... You can, uh, your characters will enter their commands as the battle is going on. So let's say I need, I really needed to heal up, but I told, if I were on manual, I would have told her to attack. But if she was on automatic there, then she might use a cure spell after I got hit, even though I couldn't have anticipated that. So sometimes that could be pretty useful there, too. And I'm not going to show every single battle here. I'm just going to show, you know, a few battles just to, you know, show you how things work, but... Uh, Kaylee can pretty much one-shot anything. So generally what I want to do is I want to have Benjamin take two rounds on the same enemy and have Kaylee hit the other enemy. Because otherwise the automatic, uh, you know, the auto control will automatically have, might have Kaylee try to finish off that weakened enemy first. So yeah, the AI isn't too smart. But for defeating these guys, we gained a level. All right. And by the way, when you use a cure potion to heal up, it restores 25% of your maximum HP. Uh, and this, or you could just take your level, multiply it by 10, that's how much HP it would restore too. So that's another way of looking at it. Yeah, for now, uh, whenever you get a new guest party member, they're always gonna be a little, well, quite a bit stronger than your main character. All right, we gain another level there. But yeah, the reason your guest character is always gonna be a little stronger than you is so that way they can make it through uh, whatever dungeons that they're going to be going through because they don't gain levels. Their levels are always fixed. They don't gain experience or anything like that. By the way, for those of you who are in Europe, this game was actually called Mystic Quest. Or not Mystic Quest. This was called, uh... Well, it was called something else. Mystic Quest Legend. That was it. There was another game for uh, the Game Boy, Final Fantasy Adventure in the United States that was also called Mystic Quest in Europe. So for those of you who are getting a little confused by that, that's that's why. They they were the ones who did that, not me. But uh, anyway, let's uh, heal up here and check out this tree here. That one looks different. Nuts. I like how they have little emotes on the characters there. Uh-oh! Crap. Nuts. Well, just use a heal potion. Get ready for a surprise! For boss time! Yeah, kick-ass music. Let's get it. Some Minotaur guy in a tree, I guess. Now, you could one-shot this guy with the life spell that Kaylee has, but, you know, let's keep it interesting and listen to that kick-ass music. Oh, man, this is one of my favorite boss scenes, like, ever. But pretty much, yeah, just go all out with your attacks. Man, I'm, everyone's missing today. What the hell? But yeah, the miss rate, at least early on in the game, is actually fairly high. I mean, it's like, I think my hit rate is like under 80%, you know, it's not that good. Yeah, he debuffed Kaylee a little bit, but uh, nah, I'm, I'm not really worried about that. All right, almost got him. We're, uh, stop ripping off his clothes, Kaylee. That's not appropriate. I, I know you're delirious with the poison and everything, but okay, there we go. Got him. Woohoo! Yeah. Ah, I just love that boss music. Ha <laughs> Elixir? Oh, we heal potion won't work, huh? Nuts. Okay, so we gotta head up to the sand temple in order to get an elixir for Kaylee. And her mom just happened to show up right on time, too. But for letting Kaylee go, we get the axe now. All right. Uh, apparently, she can just multiply it, and now we have two of them. So, no, no, she's gone. But anyway, now we can just chop... How do I... Ah, there we go. Press the A button. You can chop down trees, but you can't necessarily walk over every single tree that you can chop down. 
know. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't for whatever reason. I don't know why, but anyway, let's take this guy out. Grab this little treasure as long as we're in the area. Hopefully I can hit the enemy slightly better here. Uh, weapons or equipment, that any equipment that you can get, automatically equips itself. And each subsequent piece of equipment is, as far as the type of equipment goes, is always stronger than the previous one. There's no reason to use the previous one. So they keep it real simple like that. So uh, if you want to switch weapons... Oh, hey, we gain another level. All right. To switch weapons, you just press the R or the L button. So, but in this case, take a look at the weapons here. There's no like statuses or elemental affinities or anything like that for the weapons. So the axe is flat out better than the sword in almost every way. So there we go. And here we got some heal potions. A little too late for Kaylee there. I wish they would have poisoned her for the boss battle. That would have made it yeah you know, a little more surreal there. But eh, whatever. But anyway, got some more cure potions. Awesome. I used up some of my magic and probably got some more spell charges, so uh, let me take a moment to rest up at uh, the end here, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. One thing I forgot to mention, with the world map, there's no wide open exploration. You can only go directly from one area to the next. That's what those little arrows mean. They tell you where you can go. So, this is a battlefield, but I'll explain that soon enough, soon enough, viewers. See the little gray arrows? That means... That indicates places where you will be able to go, but can't right now because of invisible plot wall. So, yeah. But anyway, let's go grab that elixir and give it back to Kaylee. How hard could it be? Oh, oh, there we go. That was easy. Nuts. Did the chest just fart at me? I know that song. They got music in the box there. No, no, that's uh, this guy's theme. Uh, yeah. I got Benjamins for ya. What, what, can I use that? 9,000 gold! Am I the only one who grinded at the level forest to save up the 90, or not 90,000, 9,000 gold to buy the elixir? Am I the only one? Please tell me I was not the only one. Because even if you have that much gold, uh, you can't uh, buy it. So, yeah, yeah, no way. You have an allowance, and you're trying to save the world, dude. <laughs> Bone dungeon, huh? They were telling us about that uh, earth crystal up there. Hmm. Sure, it sounds like a plan. Okay, let's go right now. Sure, sounds like a good idea. What are you, in the mafia? Whack? Hey, hey, all right, more party members! We got Tristan, probably, if not my favorite, one of my favorite characters in the game. He's a ninja! He's got shurikens and everything like that. He's got a kick-ass theme and everything like that. I like him! So, now let's head on back to the battlefield. The way battlefields work, you just press the A button, and it throws you into a battle. It's designed to replace the level grinding of almost every RPG before this. So, let's give it a shot here got a new enemy here, Mad Plants. These guys, being trees, okay, well, yeah, he throws ninja stars like that. He's pretty strong, but since they're trees, they are actually weak to axes. Some enemies are going to be weak to different types of weapons as a result, so that can be pretty nice. So, uh, one other thing with uh, Tristam there, he's got the, uh, his uh, ninja stars can uh, inflict some status ailments on enemies there, and his armor has uh, protection from death and protection from fire. Not that either of those are going to be too useful, but you see how he still has um, Kaylee's elemental properties. So, yeah, we're going to want to uh, save and reset for that. Uh, I think there's one more enemy around here that I'd like to show if I can. If not, I'll just off-screen fighting these battles until we get there. You can fight up to ten battles here, and then the battlefield will break, and you'll just have to move on to somewhere else. Okay, here's the other enemy I was looking for. Poison Toads. They, well, they can poison you. Now, since these guys are weak to an axe, I want Benjamin to hit that guy, Tristam to hit the other guy. If you get poisoned, then, well, use a heal potion to cure that. So, there we go. <laughs> the frog has a band-aid on it when you weaken it enough, but... Okay, there we go. So, yeah, just keep on fighting these guys over and over again. And, uh, usually, for the last battle, you'll get a different reward. So, I'll, uh, take care of this real quick, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, we made it to the uh, last battle in the battlefield there, and there's something that I want to show you. Another bug. What happens is um, I'm about to gain a level, and this is the last battle in the battlefield here. So watch this. Okay, I got experience, so I gain a level. So now I'm level 5. But when you finish the battlefield, the reward is even more experience. And for whatever reason, when you finish a battlefield, the last battle has experience, you get two level ups instead of one. For whatever reason, I don't know why. But uh, yeah, but now it takes an immense amount of experience more to get to the next level there because it's based on your total experience. So I'm gonna off screen undoing that and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. I refought the battle in such a way that only allowed me to gain one level there. So just take my word for it. I didn't want to break the game like that. So, But anyway, I rested up at the end here and there's one thing that we can do here that I forgot to mention. We can get another treasure here with our axe, yeah. For some reason I keep on thinking it's the Y button to use my axe. Maybe I'm playing too much Radiant Historia. Eh, but anyway. Uh, also, with N Tristan's Ninja Stars, Never worry about running out of them. You'll never run out of them, uh, even if you use them all the time. So don't worry about it. But can we get the elixir from the bone dungeon? And what reward awaits us from completing this battlefield? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.